Starting off the countdown, the resurrection of Oregon baseball. In just its fourth year back as a program, the Ducks were just one hit away from making the College World Series, losing a thrilling Super Regional against Kent State and prompting this vow from head coach George Horton. I can promise everybody that's here and anybody that's watching uh, we're going to the College World Series. At number eight, Sheldon Rains. The Irish avenged last year's loss in the state title game by running the table again this season, this time beating Lake Oswego 13-6 at Jeldwen Field to win the fourth state championship in school history. Number seven, a new high for the Oregon volleyball team. Led by the National Player of the Year, the Ducks made it to the national championship game for the first time ever. A magical run that saw them beat number one Penn State in the Final Four before coming up just short against Texas in the title match. Number six, perhaps the most bizarre state championship game ever. Number two, Willamette takes an extreme tactic to try to stop Mercedes Russell and number one Springfield. With no shot clock, the Wolverines stall. They don't even try to score. It was 4-0 at halftime. Springfield won 16-7, and the game received national attention. Our coverage of it was even featured on Yahoo Sports and Deadspin. The strategy was widely criticized, but maybe the most insightful comment about the game came from Willamette coach Paul Brothers, saying if it had worked, it would have been, well, I'd have been a genius. Number five, a complete 180. Coming off their worst season since 1996, the Beavers were picked to finish last in the Pac-12 North. But Mike Riley's team flipped its record from three and nine to nine and three. Number four, the big scare. One minute he was gone, the next he was staying. Chip Kelly flirts with leaving for the NFL, coming oh so close to being the Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach. He made such a dramatic U-turn back to Eugene that the register guard had to literally stop the presses to declare Kelly's staying. Number three, the double. Former Duck Galen Rupp wins both the 10,000 and 5,000 meters at the Olympic trials at Hayward Field. Rupp then won his first Olympic medal, silver, finishing right behind training partner Mo Farah in the 10K at the London Games. Number two, the return to the Roses. On the second day of 2012, the Ducks won a thrilling 45-38 shootout over Wisconsin, highlighted by two long DeAnthony Thomas touchdowns. It was the final game of LaMichael James's record-breaking Oregon career and the first Rose Bowl win for the Ducks in 95 seasons. And the number one sports story of 2012, it was no contest. Ashton Eaton, the former Duck, the Bend native, set the decathlon world record in front of a raucous Hayward Field crowd. Making the accomplishment even more impressive, most of the two-day event was competed in the pouring rain. And one month later, he won gold in London. 2012 was the year that Ashton Eaton became the world's greatest athlete.